Good evening and thank you for joining us. We begin tonight with a blockbuster day in Quebec's crackdown on corruption. Late today, the province's anti-corruption squad raided Montreal City Hall and several other locations. This, as a key witness known as Mr. Sidewalk, took the stand at Quebec's corruption inquiry and claimed he's never even heard of the mafia. Mike Armstrong is watching this dramatic day of developments. Mike? Well, Robin, you can file this one under things we've been waiting for. There have been raids in towns and cities around Montreal, but none here until now. At 4.20 this afternoon, 125 officers from UPAC, Quebec Special Anti-Corruption Squad, swept down. They hit nine locations, including six borough offices, the offices of Union Montreal, the former mayor's political party, and Montreal City Hall itself. Now, they're after documents, and they'll be interviewing 25 witnesses. Now, the other thing we've been eagerly awaiting was the testimony of Mr. Sidewalk at the Charbonneau Commission. He was on the stand all day today. Nicolo Miliotto. It has been very clear Nicolo Miliotto isn't interested in saying much, to the point it's been laughable at times. In fact, the chief counsel was so frustrated at one point, she asked directly, what is the mafia? Miliotto shrugged and said he didn't know. In fact, he'd never heard of the mafia except in newspapers or on TV. Well, the commission presented video after video of Miliotto with members of organized crime. Not only is he with them, he's counting cash and stuffing it in his socks. Asked why, he said it was just a convenient, safe hiding spot. Asked what the money was for. He said he couldn't remember that it's been too long. Now, the person he's with in this video is Niccolo Rizzuto, the former head of the Rizzuto clan, the family that ran the Montreal Mafia for three decades. Rizzuto was eventually gunned down in his kitchen by a sniper. And yet, when asked if he knew what Rizzuto did for a living, Miliotto pleaded ignorance. If he was given money for Rizzuto, what it was didn't concern him. If he was given money by Rizzuto, it was to run an errand. The chief counsel asked if that was seriously his answer. It was. He said Rizzuto could have needed something at the butcher or the pharmacy. Now, the spectacle of a reputed member of organized crime on the stand has happened before. In 1975, mobster Paolo Violi was called in front of a commission I refused to testify. and was just as forthcoming. For not answering, Violi was sent to jail. Mr. Violi, this commission finds you guilty of contempt and sentence you to 12 months in jail. Miliotto himself is walking a fine line. He's been warned repeatedly by the judge. Even vague or imprecise answers can constitute contempt. Mike, is there any indication the raid is connected to Mr. Sidewalk? No, there are actually two uh, investigations, parallel investigations. There's the police investigation and the Charbonneau Commission itself. They have some contact, but they're basically independent. The timing today is basically just a coincidence. Robin? Mike Armstrong reporting tonight. Thanks, Mike. Yeah.